Just kayaking up the stream. This is the first obstacle of the day. It's a huge beaver dam. There's no way I'm just using my kayak to get over that. I gotta go through these woods here, up and around, and go on top of this big beaver dam. But this beaver dam must have taken years to build. It's like three foot tall. Man, it's just a lot of work getting to this pond. But dude, I just came through these woods. It's only like a little bit. I came from right there, around the trees here, and I made it in this little canal here. But I already had three ticks on me from like walking 20 feet into the woods here. I got mud on me too, so it's just kind of hard to tell like, What's a, what's a dot of mud or what's a small tick? See? Look at that. That's number four. Oh my god, look how tiny that one is. Alright, that's five. Six. Alright, All right, I need to get back on my kayak and out of here bad. I got so many ticks on me. Come on, let's get out of all these ticks. Alright guys, so I have officially made it to Head's Pond. I did have to travel up kind of like a creek to get here and over a beaver dam and I had to fight off some ticks to get here so hopefully it was worth it and hopefully I catch into some good fish today. Now something cool about this pond is that the state record yellow perch was caught in here just a few years ago. It's not like the largemouth bass state record which was caught back in the 60s but so I might even be able to hook into a big yellow perch today with my swim bait. Maybe even my jitterbug. And I just kind of gave it away a second ago, but I'm using this black jointed jitterbug here. And honestly, I don't know how this is going to work. I might have just tied it on for nostalgia reasons, but it does make a lot of noise at night, and that's what I'm looking for. And then my other rod, I have my trusty shaky head. That's a nice one. Definitely a nice start for the day. I did think it was slightly bigger than that, but hey, I'll take a half pounder. He's a little bit on the skinny side, but that's number one. All right, first bite came on this paddle tail swim bait. I've honestly probably caught six fish on this one paddle, paddle tail swim bait, and it's still going strong. The tail's about to get ripped off, but I'm going to leave it on because since there's such a weak little joint right there, it should give this tail a little bit even more action, if that made any sense. English is hard, all right? Got him. Oh, that's a digger. Get up here. Ah, oh, there we go. Second fish of the day. 
literally the same size as the first bass. <laughs> but it is a little bit different. It has a little bit of scarring right up top here. It looks like maybe a bird got him when he was younger, but second fish of the day. Still working with the same shaky head. And both my bites so far has has come in really shallow water. Honestly, I thought they might have been pushed off of the shoreline a little bit, maybe in deeper water, but I'm wrong so far. Ah, big snag. Oh, I'm not snagged up. I'm on somebody else's line. Look at this cable. That has to be 65 to 85 or 80 pound braid right there. Got him. He came back for it. Oh, that's a nice bass. Ow. I'm surprised I just didn't get hooked right there, to be honest with you. All right, third bass of the day. Definitely the smallest of the day. And he has like a little injury on his back half right there. Whoa, okay, okay, okay. Let's put him back. Third fish of the day. But the way he hit this jitterbug, man, I thought he was gonna be like a two pounder. All right guys, so I've been fishing now for about an hour and a half, and I only really have about half an hour left of daylight, but I've hooked into three bass today, and I've gotten, excuse me, I've gotten a lot of bites on my jitterbug, which was kind of surprising because, honestly, I tied the jitterbug on just because I was like, what the heck, that's like the oldest lure in history. So let's just throw it on and use it. And I mean, I'm getting a, I'm getting a lot of bites, but I'm just not really connecting with a lot of fish. Hopefully that changes as the, as night falls. I got hit three times on that cast. Giant, 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 giant fish. Got him, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! Wait. Here we go, guys. This is the best bass of the day. Probably about three pounds. But man, did he put up a heck of a fight. That is why I come out fishing at night, just for a chance to catch a three pounder like that. 
I mean, granted, I did catch like a seven and a half pounder a couple weeks ago at night, but man, that three pounder still felt very good.